Hello there, I am Dr. D2 and welcome back to Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. This is a very psychological- the same with heights. You can stand on the edge, pretend it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near, waiting for you to make that little slip. You can't just wish that. This is a very psychological game, and it's... The whispers are really, really unsettling to me. Oh, good. First word looks like it's done. Was that a word? No, no. One more letter for this word. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side, and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child... The Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the Nine Worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her you must bargain. So all I know about the story is that Senua's husband, who I'm guessing is Dillion, is dead and he's going she's going to hell I'm to save him I did not realize he was sacrificed that's pretty messed up oh the fight begins combat the gate to Helheim divides the living from the dead is that the face of Hela herself the half rotten goddess that rules over Helheim Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. Shh. Someone's here. It's also really unsettling the way the camera, or if she keeps looking at the camera. It's like I can't tell if she's supposed to be looking at me or the voices or if I'm a voice. It would make a lot of sense if I was a voice. I mean, I technically am just a voice right now. Stop that. Is your arm all messed up now? Okay, okay. Good thing I read the controls. Wow, okay. That works. It's not... It's not very fast paced. Oh, that's not how you do it. Whoa. Oh crap. You're close. Oh now there's two. Um, how do I heal? Move. 
I don't think I was supposed to win that. What's happening to your skin? This better not just be a death animation. This is way too long to just be a death animation. Or is she a hollow? What? A vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rot. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. <laughs> All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. Oh, damn. Is that like a time limit? That's awesome. The dark rot will grow each time you fail. It's not a... It's a failure limit. Yes. And all... Holy crap. Really? I like that a lot. I like that so much. Your games today are too forgiving. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. For now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. I... That mechanic alone just made me fall in love with this game. Oh, she's got to go God of War on this. Okay. Also, your your text is not matching the subtitles or your voice. What you're saying, but yeah. Mm. <laughs> you shut up. I've got this in the bag. I'm choosing a gate. I'm choosing this one. Ancestor of the Seers and Master of Ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Follow the path to Valraven and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. Oh, this is so cool. And to be honest, um, back, you know, back when I was young, I, in my mind, I had lots of dreams of being my own game designer, too. And I always wanted to... The, the, the game in my head that I got the most ideas with had a mechanic just like this. The, the, the idea was not when you fail, but when you had to heal. The farther you get, the more heals you get, but if you use enough heals, it would eventually, like, corrupt you. Oh, man, this is... This is so good. Oh, hey, hey, hey. You're a symbol. You're not the symbol I'm looking for. Oh, I missed one back there. Hang on. You wait a second. 
Gotta go back to the other room, because it was in that room. I remember it clearly. In the cutscene. I wonder if the voices are going to complain about me going back. I hope so. <laughs> this game is just hitting all the right notes for me. I mean, I knew it looked great, but this is even better than I was expecting. Alright, there you are. The Northmen say that in the beginning, there was nothing but darkness. Bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice, and the first giant was born, and was named Emir. The ice continued to drip, and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a cow, whose milk fed the giant. That's right, a cow, but you weren't expecting that. <laughs> I like how you did that. Emir was a frost giant, a being of darkness. And all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice. Furry and shape. He was like a man, big and powerful. His son bore took a fair giant to be his wife, and they had three sons. Odin was the eldest, and the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods, the Old Father. Okay, now you're done. I did not want to interrupt his speech because I'm interested. I do like Norse mythology, I've just never been able to fully study it. When I was young, I studied a lot of Greek. Okay, studied meant I read one or two books. And only mythology, not actual history, so... Yeah. I mean, I know that Hercules was looking for the Golden Fleece, and then they left him on an island because he went crazy. But... Not much else. In Norse, I know even... I know Loki tricked someone out of a bet by... What's that? It's a wall. It's a door. A screwing a horse, yeah. I did it. Oh, I think I have to look at that door for a symbol. Nope. Um, what the hell is this? Probably have to look closer at something. All right, let's. I, I think if I go to the door, it'll trigger the looking for the symbol. And then I'll look for the symbol, which will be up there. Yeah, there we go. Illusion hides the path to Balravan. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. Should have checked the door first. Alright, if I look through the door through here... Whoa. Wow. I can see it. We all want to see behind the veil, don't we? But once we do, we mostly just close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there. I don't, these voices don't have any faith in me. I can see plenty. That sounds kind of horrible. Apparently those eyes are powers here. Now let's look around. There might be another slab with a story on it. I don't know how well hidden those things are. They haven't been so the far. Price she pays for seeing things differently. Because once you gaze into the relentless darkness, all that lurks within it can see you too. 
Relentless darkness. You mean the abyss? I've heard that quote before. Still, good. Ooh. Wow. Poor bastards. Okay. They're gonna attack me as soon as I try to open this door. Lovely. Hey there, buddy. Are you gonna be cheap like the last guy? Yep, I did. Now you believe in me, don't you? What you gonna do, huh? Oh, I can sprint attack too. As long as they're not cheap, I can defeat them. I'm doing pretty well. I mean, it's pretty simplistic overall, but still feels good. It's nearly over. Finish it. Don't let him down, or don't let him get up. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what it meant by auto. Hopefully, it's actually adding some challenge. Don't stop her. She will find what she's looking for. I mean, right now it's just timing, and I'm not expecting more weapons to pop up, judging by the fact that this is... Well, there's no buttons for them, for one. But maybe new weapons, and I'm really hoping the enemies have some variety, too. If not, that would be a disappointment, but... It doesn't seem to be this game's main goal. All right, gotta find the symbol. The power of illusion comes from ravens. Align the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Drew. Oh, align the ravens. Maybe it's these things. Look how much it's there it is. There, there. Almost. Maybe the other side. No, 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 it's a different angle. Oh, wait, no, I gotta go up there. Yeah, I gotta go up there. Can I climb? I cannot climb. There's a ledge on that side, though. Maybe I can climb up that. Somehow? To break the seal, align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. I know, I know. I see the trick. I just don't know how to get up there. So, not this way. But, oh, oh, I get it. I get it. I'm going to have to look through this to see a different path or something. Or go through it. Um, okay, what's different? Is there going to be a sticker? There we go. There we go. This is cool. Okay, the combat might not pick up, but if the puzzles stay like this, I have no problem. <laughs> I am loving this. I am just legitimately loving this. Alright, give me my secret. I have figured out your... your... There we go. Yeah. That's it. I'm focused. Awesome. Oh, wait, wait. That's right. They said there's two paths. One's an illusionist and one's the, um... It, sound like, it sounds like one side is focused on combat and one side is going to be focused on trickery and illusion. So, puzzles. That works very well. Do you feel it too? It's like crossing the 
passing into another world that looks the same but feels different. An imposter world where the forest itself is watching. Well, they can watch me solve these, solve the hell out of these puzzles. Solve the hell out of these puzzles. That was terrible. I apologize. But we're out of time. I am very, very impressed by what I see so far. Gah, I am psyched. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're psyched too. Play this yourself before you're seeing this, hopefully. Because damn, I'm loving what I see so far. Hope to see you next time. Later.